far as, as far as the the conceptual aspect of jujitsu, when I was in my late twenties building my businesses, and I would be working on some business issue that I would be struggling with, uh, or personal issue for that matter, I would go to jujitsu and I would warm up. I would be instructed a technique step by step. We would train that technique in Renduri. I would try to do it in live tra training. And then after live training, we'd sit down with my sensei, Nardu Debra, who's a black belt under Henzo and John Danahar. Nice. And he would unpack everything we just learned for us mm -hmm. through the lens of history, philosophy, strategy. And he would be talking about Henzo. He'd be talking about professional fighters. He'd be talking about Sun Tzu. And, and I would magically unwind something that I had been doing that day in business. Because he would be talking, like you're saying, about the art of leverage. And he would be trying to say, you don't do an arm bar by stretching it on your stomach. You have to put your hips up into it so that the, it becomes available to do it. And, I would be, and it would instantly trigger something in my mind in business. Be like, Wait a second. I'm fighting this person over here. I need to make them my ally because I need them to do something that I want. And so I would instantly start to connect these dots. When I say instantly, I mean over the course of 10 years <laughs> or more. <laughs> um, but hearing these stories day in and day out, after having trained under Sensei Nardu for now 13 years, so many of his stories, I, I can tell those stories. And I do oftentimes, you know, to my own teams. But every time I go back and I learn the same basic armbar or hear the same story again for the 10th time, the 14th time, the 20th time, I'm getting something new out of it. I'm learning some detail that I missed or overlooked. And, uh, and this is going to be one of the stories that I tell in my book. And it's that he might have taught me that a decade ago, but mm. I just, I, I wasn't good enough. I didn't have enough knowledge, skills, and expertise to be able to put it into action the way that I want it.